Well, greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Israel Hawkins coming to you from the house of Yahweh in Abilene, Texas, and this is the Prophetic Word Show. The prophecy, the prophecies in your Bible, believe it or not, they show it all. Um, the uh, yeah, that, that won't keep it from coming true if you don't believe it, and you'll get caught up. You're going to get caught up in death and destruction. And Yahweh offers in the prophecies, He offers a way of protection and uh, His protection. But He will not protect you if you belong to Satan. Well, how do you belong to Satan? <laughs> uh, not because you've been a bad guy and got thrown in prison or something like that, uh, or maybe got thrown in prison and, uh, and you're still innocent of what you were uh, accused of. Uh, you know, uh, there's prisoners all over the world. In fact, we have in this uh, fourth part of the earth behind me here, uh, that's the world map, and that fourth part of the earth in houses the great river Euphrates, and prophecies show that in that fourth part of the earth, in chapter 6, a uh, quartet would uh, start wars right there in this, in this generation, take peace from the earth. It even shows how many people will die in that fourth part of the earth before the great nuclear wars take place, which is going to take place. Uh, the prophet Daniel said in this generation, there would be, the knowledge would be increased in this generation. Uh, that, that generation started in 1934. The knowledge increase started in 1934. Uh, history says that, that the, the computer, the computer that gave us the means of storing great information, gobs and gobs of knowledge, <laughs> uh, started with the computer. And it started in 1934, the computer did. Uh, 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 the Savior said in, Ma in Matitia or Matthew, if you have a King James Version, I'm using a book of Yahweh. Isaiah 34, 16 says, search out the book of Yahweh and read. Now, it shows an evil religion. Daniel shows an evil religion that would come against Yahweh and his righteousness. The prophet Uremia or Jeremiah in chapter 23, verses 26 and 27 shows that they would make the people forget the name of Yahweh for Baal or Lord. That's what Baal means. It means Lord. Uh, where did they get the word Lord? That comes from the word rabbi. Yes. <laughs> Unger's Bible Dictionary will send you a copy of it. Uh, uh, I didn't write the dictionaries now, the Bible dictionaries. They were written by organizations. Uh, sometimes uh, people accuse me of writing them. No, I just tell you what's in them. But uh, uh, if you'll call, write, or email, I'll send it to the information to you absolutely free. You can read it uh, yourself. Uh, you can uh, uh, get on your get on the mailing list for the prophetic word magazine uh, it's also absolutely free uh, where we keep you up to date on prophecy what is going to take place next in prophecy right now we have the wars in revelation 6 and 7 taking place right here in this fourth part of the earth in and around the great river euphrates i told the date it would start in the book called the nuclear baby uh, I told it in other places too, newsletters and so forth. It's all absolutely free to you. Uh, we're now, uh, the Savior said in Matthew 24, that uh, in verse 29, that we would have bombs in this generation that could darken the sun. Yes, bombs, nuclear bombs. Scientific tests show that yes, nuclear bombs, when we have a nuclear war, it's all going to be over with in about, about one hour, they say, but it's going to dar darken the sun. And, and of course, if Yahweh, at that moment, mankind is going to see that he's doomed unless Yahweh saves him. But at that time, Yahweh is going to roll back the clouds for his people.
for those who keep his righteousness. Did you know the Savior tells you that the Savior, he's in his words. He said, Matthew 6, 33. He said, seek first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. Well, there again, the name was removed. As Jeremiah said, they, they took out the name Yahweh and replaced it with the word Lord. You pray to Lord today, you're praying to, to dead rabbis. Lord is not a title of Yahweh. In fact, Unger's Bible Dictionary says that the word Lord is not a divine title and should have never been used to replace the Creator's name, which is Yahweh. Yes, Unger's Bible Dictionary, I didn't write it. Any dictionary will give you the same information. Uh, uh, look up the name Yahweh and you'll see it's the name of the Creator. He was never known as a God or a Lord. Uh, lords uh, uh, are just what the word means. And God, they, they, they force. They rise up. They raise themselves up above others, uh, their equals, or maybe even uh, uh, others above them. Uh, uh, that's a God. That's what the definition of a God is. Uh, the Lord is the same thing, the word Lord. And, and, but it comes from, the, from uh, the word rabbi. It doesn't come from Yahweh. It wasn't in any of the original scripture. If you had a book of Yahweh, it would show you and it'd make the words you read so much plainer. But the nuclear bomb that can darken the sun, it began in 1934. The, the computer, the knowledge increase, it began in 1934. Daniel showed you that, that uh, in, in Daniel 12 and verse 4, that knowledge would be increased in this time period. And that none of the wicked are going to understand these scriptures. He shows that too. You've almost got to repent and be converted before you can start understanding the Holy Scripture. You can understand enough about it to repent. Surely you know that the world, all the religions of the world are practicing sin. I just brought out in the last sermon, 1 John 2, 4 says, If you say you know him and you don't keep his laws, you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Where does that put your preacher when they tell you that the laws are done away with? And that's what they're teaching. We're having just war, they say. That's what the Pope says, having war that is just. There is no such thing as a just war. Uh, uh, the, the wars started with Cain, who was evil, following being evil like the gods. Yes, your scripture shows that. Even the King James Version, if you look at uh, uh, Genesis 3, 1 through 5, Satan is telling you, as she told Cain, as she told Eve, don't pay any attention to Yahweh. Be evil like the gods. It's more fun. Verse 5, that's what it says. Evil like the gods. Not righteous like Yahweh. Don't be righteous like Yahweh, she said. And that's what the preachers are all preaching today. Be evil like the gods. Don't practice the laws of Yahweh. It couldn't be any plainer. But 1 John 3, 1 John 3, verse 4 says, Whosoever sins transgresses the law of Yahweh. Verse 4, verse uh, 7 and 8 says, Let no man deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous. And then verse 8 says, He who practices sin belongs to Satan the devil. Could you get any plainer than that? You belong to Satan the devil if you don't keep Yahweh's laws, if you don't keep Yahweh's Ten Commandments. The Catholic Church did away with the Sabbath. She changed the commandments. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she changed the commandments. In, in, in 1 John 3, all of this is in history. You can, you can read it for yourself or you can continue following uh, the ways that are evil like the gods if you want to, and but you're going to burn in hell. You're not going to make it into the kingdom according to your Bible. 
And 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 Yahshua, the Savior, said, uh, "You're a fool if you don't believe what the Scriptures say. Say, if you don't believe the Holy Scripture, every Scripture." And then in 1 John 3.10, he says, In this the children of Yahweh and the children of the devil are made manifest or made known. Whoever does not practice righteousness, that's keeping the commandments of Yahweh or keeping the laws of Yahweh. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of Yahweh. And he does not love his neighbor. No, you can't love your neighbor and steal from him. That's one of the laws. You can't love your, your neighbor and commit adultery with his wife. That's one of the law. You can't love your neighbor and commit fornication with his daughter. That's one of Yahweh's laws of righteousness. You, you can't love your neighbor and murder, murder one of his family. You can't, you can't have peace in any way and break these laws. And that's what he's trying to tell you. Those who practice the laws of Yahweh belong to Yahweh. Those who practice sin, Isaiah 59, 1 and 2 says, that cuts you off from Yahweh. Your sins, your transgressions, cut you off from Yahweh. He will not hear you when you pray. The gods won't answer your prayers. The gods want you dead because Yahweh says in the beginning, in Genesis 1, 26, he says, I will make mankind in my image after my likeness and I will give them authority. Well, up until that time, Satan and the gods had authority. They still have authority. Yada, who, who carries the scepter at this time, the ruling scepter and sets on seven hills of Rome, you really need to get this information. The Roman Catholic Church is the is the Yadim. They're the city that sits on seven hills. Revelation 17, verse 18. That great city, this, this woman is that great city that reigns over the kings of the earth. All the kings of the earth. Right now she's leading them into war. Into nuclear war that's going to have a one-hour burning Yes, Revelations 18 shows, and that's what science shows you too, that once this nuclear wars break out, it'll only take about one hour, and the earth will be burnt with few men left. Well, that's what was prophesied back in Isaiah. It was prophesied in Daniel, the 12th chapter, and it was prophesied in Matthew, or Matthew 24 by the Savior himself, Verse 29 shows the, the bombs that will darken the sun, and science says, yes, this nuclear war is going to darken the sun, and we're going to have a nuclear winter that if something doesn't change, it will absolutely kill every, all life on earth as we know it. Now that's the situation we've got ourselves into because we have followed the gods evil like the gods instead of the righteousness of Yahweh. It couldn't be plainer. You really need to read your Bible and believe what it says and don't let men deceive you. You can't, you can't get eternal life without keeping the laws of Yahweh. The Savior said in the very last chapter of Revelations, very last chapter, read it for yourself. Verse 12 says, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his works. Verse 14 says, blessed are those that keep his laws for they have right to the tree of life. He said, all else, including sodomites. <laughs> yes, yes, that word is mentioned there in your scripture are cast out. It's also written in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. They say, well, we're following the New Testament. They're not following the book two of the book of Yahweh. That's what it is. And they're not following the New Testament, as they call it. Book two, this, uh, starting with Matthew through Revelation, is book two of the book of Yahweh. Yahweh says he shepherds these. He says, Isaiah 
34, 16, search out the book of Yahweh and read. Not one of these is going to fail, he said. He says, I am their shepherd. I'm going to guard them. I'm going to, I'm going to see to it that these are here for you to know in this generation. But he says, none of the wicked are going to understand. That's what Daniel said in chapter 12. In chapter 6 of 1 Corinthians, verse 9, he says, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? And they say, Oh, Jesus did it all for us. Did you know that Jesus is not the name of the Savior? <laughs> Pope Constantine took out the name Yahweh. And he says, This is the God. He chose two gods from Egypt. Two gods, he thought he was choosing one. He knew nothing about the scriptures either. But he chose two gods and says, these are the gods, this is the God you're going to worship from now on. And he put two gods in the place of the Savior's name in the Holy Scriptures. Yes, Pope Constantine. No one, they all know this. We've been, I've been bringing it for 50 years now on the air. So they can't say they don't know it. It's in their records the catechisms of the Catholic Church, it's in their records. <laughs> yes, and they admit it. They admit the name of Yahweh was removed from the Holy Scriptures. They say it was in honor of God. I agree. It, in honor of the evil gods, they took the name Yahweh out of the inspired Scriptures and they sent out versions of the, whole, of the book of Yahweh to the people. Renditions of the book of Yahweh went out to the people without the name Yahweh, without the name of the Savior, with a lot of mistranslations. This right here, the book of Yahweh, only came on the market in 1987. This book of Yahweh has come out to the people starting in 1987. It's the closest thing that I know of in, in English to the original Hebrew. And this is in English. Well, the Apostle Shaul, or Paul, they claim that Paul said the laws of Yahweh were done away with and Jesus did it all for him. No, the Apostle Shaul, his name was Shaul, he didn't do away with any laws. If they just read, if you just read his writings, you would see this. And at, of course, the apostle Shaul, you know, they arrested him and killed him in Rome. They did that to 11 of the 12 disciples. 11 of the 12 disciples were murdered. Yes, Yeshua's disciples. He says, I'm going to send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. And they will kill you, he said. But he said, fear not those who kill the body and they're not able to kill the soul or the spirit because you are going to be resurrected. They can't kill what you stood for. They can't kill this great spirit that you stood for here when you're following the scripture. They might kill the body, but you'll be resurrected. You'll be resurrected and you will live forever if you practice the laws of Yahweh. But here, the apostle Paul or Shaul said in verse chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Do not deceive yourselves, neither fornicators nor God worshipers. The King James calls it idolaters which means the worshiper of gods. <laughs> Yahweh is not a God. He's the heavenly father. He's the creator. A God is one that lifts himself up above others that are probably his equals or even better than he is. That's a God. That's a definition of God. Neither fornicators nor God worshipers, worshipers of Elohim, nor adulterers, nor men who commit sexual perversion with boys, nor men who commit sexual perversion with other men, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, 
nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. You won't inherit eternal life. Satan lied when she said you won't die. Revelation shows you will die. You will die the second death and you will never live again unless you repent. You can change from sodomy. You don't have to be a sodomite. <laughs> you can repent and convert. That's what Acts 3.19 tells you to do. Acts 3.19, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Yes, your sins may be blotted out. Your sins won't be blotted out unless you repent and convert. Acts 3.19, please read it. Well, let's go over to Isaiah because three broadcasts now has been about the prisoners. We have, we have many, many prisoners prisons throughout the world. But we have the refugees here who is classified as prisoners shown in this generation. Now, this generation is the generation of the nuclear bomb that will darken the sun. Yeshua said that in Matthew 24, verse 29, said that the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give her light, and the stars will fall from heaven. Isaiah spoke of this. Yeshua said in verse 33 and 34, that's Matthew 24, Matthew 24, verse 33 and 34. He said, when you see these things, the nuclear bomb that can dar darken the sun, yes, that's a scientific test, prove that now. When you see this, he says, know that that generation will not pass away until all these things are fulfilled. Yeah, in, in Isaiah, Isaiah was prophesied to write about the refugees from the foreign countries here in this time period, and he classifies them as prisoners. They will be gathered together like prisoners are gathered in the pit and will be shut up in the prison, and after many days they will be visited after many days. Well, of course, this has been going on now for a few years. The people are being forced out of their homes, off of their land, from wars. Wars, yes. Yeshua said in Matthew 24, verse 21 and 22, this is going to be the worst tribulation ever. And he said, if, if Yahweh didn't step in and stop it, if he, he didn't have a plan to step in and stop it, there would no flesh be saved alive. When this earth is burnt in that one hour that, I, that Revelations 18 shows, when this earth is burnt in that one hour, then the sun will be darkened, the moon won't give its light even, the stars will fall from heaven, the powers of heaven is going to be shaken, the nuclear winter will set in. Yes, the nuclear winter will set in. It would be but a short time that all life would be destroyed if Yahweh himself didn't step in and stop the gods from their work of destroying mankind. Satan and the gods do not love mankind. Satan wants you to be like the gods so you will be destroyed. And she is set out, as Isaiah 14 shows, to destroy all of her children. And you are a child of Satan, the scripture shows. 1 John 3, 7 and 8, He who practices sin belongs to Satan, the devil. You are her children if you practice sin. Sin is the breaking of Yahweh's law. Read the Ten Commandments that's shown in, in Exodus, the 20th chapter the most perfect laws you can find. The appointment with Yahweh, the eternal appointment with Yahweh, is shown there in those Ten Commandments in Exodus 20. The fourth, the fourth commandment says, Remember the seventh day Sabbath. Remember the seventh day Sabbath. You know what Constantine did? He says, we don't want anything to do 
with the Yadim, with these Jews, the rebel of the Jew. He calls them rebels because they would not submit to changing Yahweh's laws. This is the many thousands that was killed. Hitler killed about six million Jews. They called them Jews. They were actually Israelites, the same as Hitler was. Hitler was an Israelite too, but he was of the religion that hated, that caused him to think that he needed to kill these people who kept the seventh-day Sabbath. If you kept the seventh-day Sabbath, if you owned a lampstand called the menorah, if you refused to eat pork, yes, that was a penalty of death, a penalty of death. Isaiah says in Isaiah 65, hold your place here in in Isaiah 24, but Isaiah 65 uh, shows they're following the priest who eat swine's flesh. Hitler was following the priest, he said, doing the bidding of the Catholic Church when he killed six million Jews, as they called them, because they kept the Sabbath, would not eat pork, owned a seven-lamp lampstand, owned a copy of the scriptures, all of those things, all of those things brought the death penalty. And they were ruled as not keeping the Sabbath. They didn't charge them with not keeping the Sabbath or keeping the Sabbath. They charged them as being a heretic. A heretic was going against the Catholic Church. And they put on them the penalty of death. Here in Isaiah 65, verse 2, he says, I have spread out my hands all day to a rebellious people who walk in a way which is not righteous after their own thoughts. Verse 4 says, Who assemble and spend nights keeping memorials to the dead. That's Halloween. They're, They're... celebrating Halloween, the dead they're worshiping are dead rabbis, lords, lords who now they, after a pope uh, dies or rabbi dies, uh, they then they say, now you can pray to this person because we've deified him, we've made a god out of him. And, he, and Yahweh said you have uh, more gods than you have cities. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, the, the assemble, keeping Halloween, uh, who eat swine's flesh, and the broth of abominable things are in their blood vessels, who say, stand by yourself, do not come near me, I am holier than you. Yes, and Isaiah 66 shows, Isaiah 66, 17 says, They who sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, following after the priest in the midst of those who eat swine's flesh, that which is offered to gods, and the rodent will be consumed together, Yahweh says. Verse 23, it will come to pass that from one new moon to another and one Sabbath to another, All flesh that is left alive will come before me. This is a Sabbath appointment with Yahweh himself. And the fourth commandment, a weekly Sabbath, it's an appointment with the creator himself every week. That's the reason they wanted to take it out. They want nothing to do with Yahweh. And Yahweh said in the eighth chapter of 1 Samuel, write it down, read it, 1 Samuel 8, 1 Samuel 8, about the first 20 verses, he, the people separated and said, we want to be like the other nations. Yahweh said, they have rejected me. Their hearts have turned back to Egypt, just as they have done since I brought them out of Egypt. They have rejected me so they can worship gods. Evil, be evil like the gods. Well, Isaiah shows they've got themselves in a mess that's going to destroy the earth. Burn the earth and few men left. My time is up. May Yahweh bless your understanding.